What is up everybody? My name is uh, Freaky Choice and today I'm bringing you some tips and tricks on Halo 4 on how to customize your loadouts and what's the best way to do it. So in part 1, this is part 1, I'm going to explain what everything does and how everything works and yeah what everything actually is and in part 2 I'm gonna show you what actually are good combinations of weapons, packages and grenades, armor abilities, whatever. So let's get started. So I just selected a loadout one and I'm gonna start with all the primary weapons and what are the uses of them. The battle rifle is really good up close or mid range, something like that. Uh, five headshots will kill somebody, it's kind of the most used primary weapon uh, together with the DMR. So yeah, it's pretty easy killing with it, uh, just five headshots and uh, yeah. Now you have the assault rifle. The assault rifle is really good up close, uh, it's really more powerful than it was in Halo Reach because it really sucked the, uh, in Halo Reach. It's really good up close uh, to put someone's shields down, uh, yeah, so if you have an assault rifle you can use your pistol maybe to clean up the kill after you one shot him. The DMR is a more of a distance weapon, like good up mid, mid slash long range, you can get it close range. But it's uh, kind of harder to go for the headshot when up close. Still, if you're versus a battle rifle with a DMR, I think if the DMR puts your shots right, uh, the DMR will win. So, again, five shots, five headshots will kill somebody. So, moving on to the light rifle. This really is a mid to long range weapon. Because if you are zoomed in, you can get four headshots and you will kill someone. But if you're not zoomed in, so you're no scoping, uh, that means it uh, takes six headshots to kill someone. So this is really a long range weapon. It's a Promethean weapon, it looks very cool. Moving on to the Storm Rifle. Again, this weapon is really good for taking down shields. Probably better than the Assault Rifle, but um, it probably overheats when you miss a couple shots after the shield are down. So Again, this weapon with the pistol is really a good combination. The Covenant Carbine is really back and uh, it shoots very fast. It's like semi-automatic. You can just, uh, by figure of speech, you can hold down the trigger. But <laughs> uh, it takes eight headshots until it kills the enemy. So it's really not that like strong of a weapon, but still uh, maybe with dexterity or extra ammo, it will be a beast. Moving on to the suppressor. So this weapon again looks a lot like the assault rifle, it's good taking shields down and stuff. Uh, maybe it's a little bit powerful, I don't know. It feels a little bit powerful, but um, it's like you really need to bump fire with this thing. So not hold down the trigger a lot because the reticule will expand a lot and you will miss a lot of shots. So make sure you're bump firing and uh, yeah. So moving on to the secondary weapons. So first of all you have the Magnum. The Magnum is really good for swapping out uh, from your primary to your secondary if your primary runs out of ammo or something and you get the easy headshot with the pistol, it can easily clean up the kill. So the bolt shot is really powerful up close if you load it up. Uh, it works like a shotgun, it's just really dangerous. Um, some people tend to camp with it, I don't know. And uh, the plasma pistol, of course. Uh, it's easy to take shields down when recharged. Um, maybe use a DMR and a plasma pistol, and you can load up your plasma pistol, shoot with it. Uh, the enemy will don't have any shields anymore, and you can easily clean up the kill with your DMR. Moving on to the grenades. So again, you have the frag grenade. It's really nice to throw around corners uh, to finish someone off or just bounce off things to make him one shot and go for the easy headshot. And you get the plasma grenade, uh, who is a little bit more powerful uh, than the frag grenade. It's kind of used to stuck people or throw down, throw down the floor when you're uh, getting chased or something. And the Promethean grenade is also pretty handy for throwing around corners. Because if you know someone is coming, you can just throw that Promethean grenade and uh, it will take uh, your enemy shields down really fast and you will clean up with the final headshot. Moving on to the armor abilities. 
So first of all, you have trust back. That's one of my favorites. Uh, it's really nice to uh, get out of sticky situations or when you're thrown at by grenades and stuff. And you got Promethean Vision. It's really nice for checking out campers and yeah, if just the area is safe to maybe drop your ordnance or something. And of course, the jetpack is just really nice to uh, get on top of uh, certain places you can't get uh, on foot or just to uh, take a short route or something. It's really not that powerful as it was in Halo Reach where you could just fly up in the air and shoot everyone and 30 seconds later you drop down. It's really not that powerful anymore so uh, you really need to focus on the short shortcuts and yeah. So regen shield is really powerful from distance uh, maybe using the DMR or the light rifle with it. Uh, it's really nice uh, maybe from the start to help your teammates out and win the first uh, 4v4 battle to get maybe top mid or something. So hologram is really great for distraction uh, especially when you're maybe in a 1v1 and you know your enemy is going to win you send out your hologram and it will just shoot your hologram and you can get those maybe final two headshots or something. It can also be used to distract someone who has a really powerful power weapon and uh, you don't want to get caught off by him so you send out your hologram maybe on a long walkway and what I really like about the hologram is that it can teabag so it can just annoy the heck out of your enemies. The hard light shield is really used uh, when you're one shot or you know are in a sticky situation it's like a 2v1 and you're like no I'm not gonna win this it's not that powerful as armor lock though because armor lock was really a beast just annoying you can get an armor lock for 30 seconds and no one will, can kill you uh, you can still get thrown off by grenades and stuff so yeah it's not that powerful but a lot of people still use it like your teammates can back you up when you use your heart light shield or something so now you get your active camo, yeah that's really used to sneak up behind people or maybe you sneak up in front of people when you have the energy sword or something. Uh, a lot of people also just use it to hide or something, I don't really like that tactic, just kind of camping. But still a lot of people like that tactic, uh, you know, you got to figure out yourself if you like uh, active camo or not. I don't really use it that often. So auto sentry is like a extra backup, um, like a teammate but weaker you know I can't really explain it differently but that's pretty much it so moving on to your tactical packages which are kind of important uh, these are like perks in Call of Duty but less powerful than actually it doesn't really make that a big of an impact but it still can change your gameplay for a bit uh, so you got shielding shielding is really nice if uh, you like that kind of gameplay when uh, you got one shot and you got uh, out of battle and you want to get right into battle back again. Um, mobility is really used on big team battle uh, maps a lot because you can get fast from one place to another and yeah it doesn't really have further a lot of impact on the, your gameplay. So you got Grenadier, it's like a nice extra grenade uh, maybe to spam in the beginning of the game so you get, get your enemy one shot or something. Uh, so you get you can get all his shields down and uh, final headshot will clean him up like on Haven I did a couple times I got some gameplay for you but not right now so you get resupply um, this is really used if you find yourself a lot of times without ammo slash grenades um, yeah it's just if, if you think you have too li little of grenades or you really uh, want this tactical package AA efficiency is really used for like if you use your armor ability a lot like people like to use Promethean Vision a lot to just walk around the map and see everything through walls well then a efficiency efficient yeah, I can't say the word is really good for you firepower is really used if you really like a combination of two primary weapons uh, that work well together then firepower is for you man <laughs> So moving on to support upgrade, this one is I think more important than the tactical, pa tactical package so you really need to focus on this one. So explosions is really useful when your enemy is really spamming nades or you want to stick to one position and where you can nade it easily when you just hate annoying nades <laughs> everywhere so yeah. 
Ammo is again used for more ammo if you want find yourself without it. But with this package you also have your ordnance that will have a couple more bullets. Like if your ordnance uh, rocket, it will have 6 bullets and that's just amazing. 6 rockets, 6 skills, automatically a killing spree, you know, that's just pretty great. Dexterity is really useful when you rush a lot and you hate the slow reload speed and stuff. It's like sleight of the hand in the Call of Duty games and stuff. It's just really fast paced, you know. I like it. Awareness is really powerful with something like their light rifle. If you play really conservative or uh, you want to pick up enemies on long distance and you don't want to get like a cut off without uh, knowing there's someone behind you or something. Sensor, I can't really say that much about it because I think it's kind of a decision of your own if you really like it. I don't really like it. I don't find it necessary to use this one actually uh, because you miss out on all the good stuff and yeah I mean come on <laughs> and the last one ordnance priority um, yeah it's just if you like two or one ordnance really badly and you don't really like the other ones then uh, you should pick ordnance priority so thanks for watching my party hope you enjoyed this video um, this wasn't really tips and tricks yet it was more like explaining the loadouts but the next video will be the tips on what's the best combinations and everything so stay tuned for part two this will come in a couple of days maybe one or two in an hour uh stay tuned and hope you enjoyed this video please rate comment subscribe see you all